Bro, listen, I was unconscious. When my car flipped, I didn't even know. Let me tell you this. I remember, like, the split second of getting into my accident, like, that split second, and then I remember crawling out of my vehicle. I don't know how long that was. That shit seemed like it was like, it seemed like I crashed and then I was crawling out. But I was like, my legs burnt up, nigga. I'm unconscious for 45 minutes in that bitch. That's what the doctors told me. Like, he said it's an estimated 45 minutes, you feel me, for your shit to burn at that degree. It burnt. You know what I'm saying? Right. So... Bro, that shit traumatized me. Yeah, you had to be in there for a while, bro. Bro, that shit traumatized me, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, a lot of people don't know the lifestyle that I live, bro. But coming from that lifestyle, you feel me, popping music, going, you feel me? I'm the main nigga talking swipe shit. Wasn't nobody talking swipe shit. And I swear to God, bro, there's not no diss or nothing. The 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 punch made and all, like, and I swear, it's not, like I say, it's not no diss. Wasn't nobody doing that shit before me, bro. Like, you know, I really got indicted for this shit. I ain't tripping on how nobody doing their motion, gang. Like, yeah. I'm out this bitch. I'm by myself here. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, you didn't show up with nobody. I got somebody with me, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's one person. One person, yeah. Like, I'm by myself. Like, and, bro, like, that shit, that shit takes faith. That shit takes a whole bunch of, you feel me? Like, I want this shit, gang. But all that shit come from me, my nigga. Like, all that shit come from me. I'm, I started all that shit, bro. How did you, how did you step into the... What we would call what swipe, swipe music. music? How did you How did you step into that? You know what I'm saying, what motivated you? I really just feel like, bro, bro, I was a follower, bro. Like I was a follower. Like, you got to be one of the most honest people I've ever sat down with. I mean, bro, I'm gonna keep this get shit up G here and get to lying. I mean, niggas, off, man, they like, try to be something that they not, bro. Like, but, it, like I told you, bro, with this interview, bro, you gonna you. I'm going to be so honest and transparent that it's niggas that's going to feel the same way I feel, bro. Mm. Even though I'm in a different position, bro, I'm trying to help my bro. It ain't even just about me. My purpose is way different than just me coming in here, bro. I want to still help somebody. Somebody could watch this bitch and be like, you know what? Let me get on my shit. And start swiping. No, no. <laughs> Look, don't, you ain't got to do what I do. You feel me? Just take my message. You know, like, take my it. message. You ain't got to do what I, I do. I don't want a nigga shit. to do that. But Peep, though, bro. But Peep, where the fuck was I at? Um, you said how I get into that shit. Yeah, how'd you get into swipe so, music? Like, what motivated you? Like I say, I was a follower. You know? Like, I used to literally, however niggas day was, that's how the fuck my day was. You like this, nigga, you got a party, boop, boop, boop. That was my day. Like, that's how much I was like, Wanting to, you know, like be in something, right? And I ain't gonna lie, bro. I did my first look. You feel me? And I had control over what I could do, and I ain't need nobody. Then I'm like, yeah, f niggas. You feel me? And then, like, I was already rapping. I was already doing music. You feel me? I just didn't have really no identity. And then that shit came from, all right, rap about what the f the motion is rap about what you doing, but right. niggas wasn't really like niggas say something. A nigga say something about scamming, but niggas wasn't being transparent. Like, bro, you listen to my shit. It's like, bro, you could really, yeah, you could really it make a nigga wanna, yeah. yeah. But it take you to do that. Like, it take you to, you know, like, all right, let me listen to this nigga shit and see what he doing. Like, bro, this shit ain't no nigga make you mother and dance or you know no shit like that. You gonna be thinking like, bro, I gotta get on my shit. That's my whole aura. Yeah. But that's how I got into it. So that's why I became self-made because it's like, nigga, I, I was wanting to be around niggas and then I just got my own motion and I just started doing my own thing. Like, fuck it. Yeah. And that shit just transpired into my music. Like, that's it. Just living life, my nigga, just popping out, doing my thing. And like all that shit just really happened just like that, bro. <clears throat> I do like how uh, transparent you keep it, even in the music that you put out. That shit sound dope. I ain't gonna lie. If that it. was a freestyle you did on that on the radar, that shit was crazy. Bro, that was listen, let me tell you the story about that. That shit listen, went insane. I drove bro. down there eight hours, bro. Drove eight hours. Double amputated, gang. Like this how hungry I be for this type of shit. You know? I drove down that bitch. Wrote the freestyle in the motherfucking car, bro. And freestyled that bitch, nigga, and put my soul in that bitch when I went on that motherfucking on the radar, bro. No cap. That bitch wasn't no shit that I had, like, already in the pot, cooked up. Like, bro, I'm literally, nigga, driving down that mother cooking up at the same time, bro. Damn. 
my mindset is just different though. You know, like my mindset just different. Like nigga went through some shit that just got me so hungry and and, and not wanting to give up on what the I started before you feel me anything else start before that bro like I gotta put my all in this because this really all I got I got a lot of support you know like they gonna be happy as to see me on this platform you know what I'm saying no matter what I gain my supporters gonna be happy as hell and that's what I do it for the motherfuckers that was I stopped rapping for three years bro getting myself together mentally you feel me and I dropped some music I'm still doing almost 100k views no help nobody helping me so it's like, bro, like I got some shit. You feel what I'm saying? I just gotta, I just gotta get the kinks and get this shit really figured out. But I know I got some shit, gang. I know I do. <clears throat> you talked about your accident. What you know what I'm saying is some of the challenge. What other challenges you feel like you face like your day to day? Man, bro, bro. Right now I could feel my legs pulsing. Right now I could feel my shit. You feel me? Cause I gotta walk on these bitches, bro. I got to be aggressive. I got to be like, okay, whatever I feel, I deal with that shit at the end of the night. It's like a recharge, you know? So, bro, all of this shit, it's it's a challenge in, in itself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a challenge putting my shoes on. It's a challenge walking. If my leg don't feel good, I cannot do nothing. If I don't feel like, you feel me? I ain't doing shit, bro. If I'm in public... And my shit started hurting, I got to sit down somewhere. All that shit is a challenge. But none of that shit is stopping me, bro. None yeah. of that shit is stopping me from getting on the plane. None of that shit is stopping me from walking down this bitch and enjoying my life, showing somebody they can do the same thing, bro. <clears throat> my mama don't even know I'm here, bro. My mama, bro, like real shit. Like, <clears throat> What's up, mom? <laughs> bro, I'm so hungry, bro. I'm so hungry, bro. Like, yeah. I'm so hungry, gang. Like, for this shit, bro. Yeah. It got to happen because I know I got it. You know what I'm saying? I just know I got it, bro. It's, it's, it's like I say, I know this shit hard, but it's niggas, like I say, and no offense to you, but just because you here, I can use you as an example. Mm. You got your shit on every day. Mm. It's no problem for you to get up and get the fuck on and do what the fuck you do. It's mm. niggas that's probably ain't never even left. It's niggas probably ain't never even been to California, bro. Mm. My legs been here. So how you going to talk about me? You know what I'm saying? My legs in Cali, walking down Rodeo, nigga, shopping, nigga, got rude socks on. Like, all that shit empowered me as a person to be like, all right, bro, pop your shit still. Pay the stack for these bitches, nigga. I don't even know how these bitches feel for real. Ain't that about a bitch. <laughs> Ain't that about a bitch. He said, I don't even know how these bitches feel you for me? real. <laughs> like, bro. Come on, dog. Like, my nigga. <laughs> I could be wearing some orthopedics in this bitch and be straight. You feel me? Some white socks, nigga, and some orthopedos in this bitch. I'll be good. <laughs>